a mid-morning. Experts think that antibody testing could be key in this long-term fight against COVID-19. The blood test can determine if you have been infected, but many questions remain. So we wanted to know what a COVID-19 antibody test really can tell us. Mm -hmm. and this is something you've been looking at for quite a while, right. Heather. You and I, Jason, have talked about this several weeks ago, actually, when these antibody tests were first coming out. There's the antibody tests, which happens after the fact, which determines if you had been infected in the past. It detects the antibodies in your blood. That's the blood test. That's different from that nose swab or that throat sure. swab test that we've seen where it detects if you have the virus right now. But the reason we bring it back up is now Mayo is saying, look, we can do 10,000 of these antibody tests a day. Uh, the U is saying we want to do 1,000 of them. But there are a lot of questions out there about their accuracy and what they can actually tell us. Right, because, I mean, obviously, when it's trying to tell us that we see these, kind of the science here is like when you get sick, mm -hmm. your body fights it. And the fight is the antibodies that right. pop up. And mm -hmm. so if you see these antibodies in the blood, you assume that the fight happened, right? Absolutely. Yeah. Right. And then they'll use those antibodies to fight it if it ever tried to come back at you again. Right. So that's But we're getting idea. false positives, right? Right. In some of these cases. So what happened early on, I mean, this is a brand new virus, as we know. So early on, a lot of companies were flooding the market with these antibody tests. And there wasn't a ton of oversight, federal oversight there looking at the quality of these of these samples. Now the FDA has not approved any of them. They have given sort of emergency authorization to four of them, and they're looking at the verified, the validated samples from about 100 other companies. I mean, there. I suppose a false, so the, uh, Mayo did a test on this. There's, so, yeah. There are certain mistakes that are right. more potentially harmful than Absolutely. others. Absolutely. So this, you right? think about this. Well, the false positives may be just, you know, five or 10 percent. But if you spread that out yeah. over an entire population, you're telling people that they could be protected when they couldn't be or the opposite. Right. And then that could be a disastrous situation if we're using these tests to determine who has immunity and who doesn't. So false positive, big problem. False right. negative, right. less of a problem. Mm -hmm. The real question, Heather, is like, just because we know you have antibodies, we don't really know right. what that means in terms right. of what kind of immunity you have, right? Exactly. And so if you even put aside some of the accuracy issues, and they're really working on that. Mayo's test is very accurate. So is the use. A lot of these tests on the market are. You kind of have to look at the numbers there. But put that aside. Let's assume it is accurate. Just because you have the antibodies doesn't mean you have full immunity against yeah. this. They just don't know that sure. right now. They know they think you probably have some sort of limited immunity, but they can't tell how much immunity you have right now. So even the Minnesota Department of Health has said, look, this cannot be the sole basis for determining if you've been infected or if you've been immune. We're going to have to look at a bunch of other things before we start really letting everybody head back out there. I mean, but eventually the reality is you're never going to have 100% certainty about right. any of this. Absolutely. So for people who are seeking that, mm -hmm. uh, you're going to have to just live in a bubble for the rest, for the next two years right. until there's a vaccine. Right. So and we exactly. need some little data points we to do. be able to get us to and, back and to work. Every, as we as feel like we end every one of these segments, Jason, with they're yeah. learning more every right. day. So weeks from now, we're going to know more about right. this immunity. Right. Months from now, we're going to learn more. Um, so you have to take what you have now, use it, but just be cautious and just, be careful yeah, about it. Smart. Yeah. Very good. Mm -hmm. Social 